Hello everybody, welcome to Filmmaking Today, boy and Dulabic here. So, are you interested in getting a slider and a monopod all in one? Stay tuned for more. Hello, welcome back. So, in this episode we're going to talk about the Maza Slide Pod 2-in-1. Before I go on, I just want to make sure that, uh, full disclosure, this product has been sent to me by Godson. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it, the company behind the slide pod. They sent it to me for free for this review, but uh, they have no input on this review. Uh, no one's reviewing this video before it's being published and all the opinions you're going to hear are my own. So let's get started. And this is the Mazda Slipod 2-in-1 motorized slider and monopod. Let's take a look at what comes in the box. This is the case that comes with it and it's actually a pretty sturdy case which is awesome. Inside you are greeted with the usual things. Here's the usual manual. This is the wooden handle that you attach to the bottom of it that allow you to attach the tripod. And this is the pan and tilt head which is really cool. It allows you to attach all kinds of cameras to it and it allows you to swivel and tilt it in all kinds of directions. This is the little tripod that comes with it. It attaches to the wooden leg. You can either use it as an extension and you can hold it in your hand or you can just unfold it and just place it on a surface. It will work with most surfaces. Obviously it depends how rugged the terrain is but certainly for a table or concrete or anything like that you should be fine. And then here you have a USB type C cable to charge the device. And and then next to it you have this little attachment that allow you to attach your own ball head to it or if you want to attach the camera straight onto it. And then here you have the slide pod itself. It's pretty lightweight. The main body is about 769 grams and it's built really sturdy. The slide pod is a very interesting device that can be used by itself with the tripod legs or it can be attached to any regular tripod to get some really interesting shots. The body itself is made out of carbon fiber and high strength aluminum alloy with a ultra high power density geared motor. On the body itself you can attach any regular tripod plate so you can mount this onto a tripod and it works just fine. You can use it horizontally or vertically to get some really interesting and unique shots. When it comes to physical buttons and ports you have this one right here which is the USB type C port that's used to charge the device and it also allows you to hook up a power bank so you can power the device as you're using it which is extremely useful if you run out of power. The built-in battery will last you for about two hours and it's going to take 90 minutes to charge it. Next you have the plus and minus buttons over here which will move the actual slider. You have various speeds to choose from. At the minimum speed the slider moves at 0.15 millimeters per second. At the maximum speed it moves 28 millimeters per second. Next you have this silver button right here which does a few different things depending on how many times you push it. It turns it on and off, stops the slider and returns it to the default state. This is what the tripod legs look like when they're folded out which allows you to use this device when you are on the go and you don't have time to carry a traditional tripod with you. This will definitely do the job and act as a monopod. And this is where you mount a quick release for a traditional tripod. This is the adapter that comes with it. With this one you can hook up a ball head to it or you can hook up a camera straight to it. This is the pan and tilt head with a quick release plate which allows you to hook up any camera to it. It's very versatile and pans and tilts in various different ways so you can always get the shot that you want. The slide pod can also be controlled by a dedicated app for your phone and this is what it looks like so after we connect this is the menu. We're going to focus on the remote control first. In the regular mode you can adjust the speed. You can go all the way from 0 to 100 and then you have the upwards and downwards button. So basically what you do you hold it and while you're holding it it's going to go up or down depending on whatever it is that you're holding and you can also use your finger and slide on the line and wherever you stop the slider is going to go there. Another interesting feature I want to show you is the creative video feature. So if we go there, here we can actually adjust different speeds. So what we can do, let's say we want to start the slider from 0 to let's say 132 and then we want that to take 8 seconds. And then we can add another path. Let's say we want it to go to 198 and we want that to take let's say 15 seconds. Now that's going to take 15 seconds and we can add another path and let's say now we want it to go back from 198 to 67 and we want that to take 25 seconds. And we can do that five times in total at five different paths and you can get some pretty creative and interesting shots. 
Another interesting feature, if we go over to the step tab over here, we can actually create a time-lapse sequence. Now this doesn't work for every camera, so make sure to check if your camera is compatible with this feature. As mentioned, one of the features of the slider is the fact that it can move very, very slowly. Now this can come in very handy if you are doing close-up shots of products or anything like that, maybe using a macro lens or something like that. This is a great feature to show off those smaller objects. When it comes to the overall quality of the slider, it will not disappoint, that's for sure. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. All in all, I think the uh, Maza SlidePod is a pretty cool device. If you are looking for a lightweight solution, if you are looking for a two-in-one, um, if you're shooting a wedding, you need a monopod, you need a slider, if you're an indie filmmaker, you need um, you know just, just less gear to haul around, just all that good stuff this is not going to disappoint. The advantage of this guy versus a regular slider is the fact that you can mount it onto a, um, a tripod, right? And you can move it around, you can uh, adjust uh, the, uh, uh, the angle, you can get just different, more interesting shots than having a traditional slider, which, you know, you could also mount obviously onto a tripod, but you are really stuck in the um, horizontal position, right? Whereas with this guy, you can just move it whichever way, right? And uh, th that just makes for some really interesting shots. The fact that you can operate it uh, via the app is also an awesome thing. The fact that you can uh, set uh, the five different paths, right? Uh, move it, you know, in one direction, then move it in another direction, um, change speeds and all that kind of stuff. I think it's just, it's it's a it's a new take on, on an old, um, uh, device. I mean, uh, a slider, a motorized slider has been around for a long time, right? But from my knowledge, the godsend, the company behind the, the SlidePod, you know, they've taken something established and put a new twist on it, which is always cool. Uh, but the only uh, negative thing or um, thing to, you know, mention uh, would be the fact that I have noticed sometimes when you're moving it uh, vertically up and down, if you are going at the fastest speed, sometimes it can be a bit jittery. Now, I'm thinking that can probably solve, that can probably be solved via a software update, a firmware update, uh, which you can get, by the way, uh, using the app, you can update this thing. So, yay. So I think that can probably be solved. Um, so sometimes if you are going at the full speed and if, if it is jittery, just reduce the speed a little bit, play around with the settings and you should be fine. It doesn't happen all the time, but I have noticed that sometimes that can happen. Not a deal breaker in my opinion, but you know, just something to be weary of. And um, that's it guys. Like I said, all in all, I think it's a great device that can be very useful for all kinds of shoots. So that's that. If you enjoyed this video, as always, uh, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, tell your friends all that good stuff. Stay tuned for more. Hit that bell icon to be notified of future videos. All that stuff. Thanks.